So, Senator Thompson, I want to go to the issue that you mentioned in passing just a couple of minutes ago, the solvency of Medicare and Social Security. Uh, you said those uh, programs are threatened with bankruptcy. They indeed are, as countless economists have advised us. Uh, if they were to be kept in their present form, it is argued that they could swamp the private economy with unacceptable levels of taxation or would force severe benefit cuts. You have stepped out on this, uh, suggesting that we could change the, the indexing method for the growth of benefits in, in Social Security. You, know, you have said that we couldn't really afford the prescription drug bill that was passed under President Bush. You've talked about the possibility that high-income Medicare beneficiaries would have to accept less benefits. Uh, this is a hard area, as the, president, uh, the President's adventure on this has shown. Are you prepared to say tonight that you would propose these things and, and make them part of your campaign? Yes. As I think that you have uh, stated them, yes. I don't want to be bound to your exact words, but the principles that you've outlined are, are, absolutely, are absolutely correct. Uh, it's based on the notion that there's no reason to run for the presidency of the United States if you can't tell the truth. Uh, it's a difficult thing politically, but the fact of the matter is we're bankrupt in the next generation. We're spending the money of our grandkids and those yet to be born. They don't have a seat uh, at the table. Uh, our, pre uh, our present mandatory spending uh, cycle uh, leaves us in an unsustainable position. The comptroller tells us that, the government accountability office, everybody that looks at it says it's unsustainable. Can you imagine something that's unsustainable and threatens our economy for our grandchildren and those yet to be born uh, not being discussed more on the campaign trail? I've just set out a couple of things that I think will avoid future generational warfare, where we have to fight over a lot higher taxes or big benefit cuts. If we do some responsible things now, we don't have to do that. And the indexing of, uh, of benefits in the future from wages to prices is one way to do that. Current retirees or those near retirement wouldn't be uh, affected, and those retiring in the future would get the same uh, benefits in real dollars as those retiring now, but not more.